Hello and welcome to the online IGOC. My name is Pastor Molly. And I'm Tolu. And we're going to be journeying with you over the next few days here online with our very special theme, which is... Bigger, Bolder, Better. So on day one, we'll be learning how to... Think bigger. And on day two, we'll be learning how to... Speak Bolder. And day three, we'll be learning to do better. And so join us for all the days so you get all that you need to know to be bigger, bolder, and better. Hello, it's Cabo. Welcome to IBRZ 2023. Bigger, bolder, better. Bigger, bolder, better. God wants you to be big, bold, and better. Say his words in a very bold way. Make his word bigger in your life and take your understanding of his word and make it better in your life. So bigger, bolder, better. Bigger, bolder, better. Peace out. Oh, wow. This... <sighs> I like bacon. I think we're going to make a cake. Do you like making things or creating things? Well, we're going to make a cake. I think I've got some really nice recipes in here. What's your favorite kind of cake? Mm, I like banana cake. Oh, they call it banana bread, actually. Or carrot cake, yeah, that's a good one. Or lemon cake. Uh, what do we think? What do we need? What do you need to make a cake? I think, well, I've got my recipe here, that's handy. And uh, I've got my, what else have I got here to make my cake? I've got my, my pan, ooh, got my egg, that is so nice, ready, not going to break them. I've got my, oh, these are the heavy bits. I've got my flour and I've got my sugar. And there are other things I need like butter, I don't have one here, but I'll make sure I have all my ingredients to make our cake. Bigger, bolder, better. Talking about making things, mm -hmm. I remember a verse in the Bible that says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3, that by faith, we understand the whole universe was made by the Word of God. Wow. So what then God bake us in an oven then? I wouldn't say it like that. Not exactly. Come on, how can God bake us in an oven? I think you stayed too long. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <Mind> yourself. <laughs> well, maybe I did. Anyway, God didn't bake us in an oven. Thank God for that. Anyway. Don't try that at home. Don't. Okay. Well, the Bible says that through faith, the whole world was made by the Word of God. He created the whole world with His Word. And He says that so that things that are visible, the things we can see, mm. are made out of things that were not, not seen. seen. Mm. So we can see our flour, sugar, our butter, our eggs when we're making our cake. If I want to make my world, what kind of ingredients can I use that are not seen? Yeah. The first one we're going to talk about today is our thoughts. Thoughts, yes. And that's why I want to challenge you to think bigger because our thoughts are that powerful and they influence the kind of things we create. That's quite interesting. So we're going to use baking a cake to describe how our thoughts help us in life. Yeah, okay. very important. Well, anyone likes to join in the competition? Because I don't think I'm, yeah. I'm going to be I like doing that. A little that. bit of a contest, yeah. Well, kind of. Let's see how they get on. I've got two people who are going to be making a cake today. We've right. got a... Am I one of them? No. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Anyway, we've got someone representing the red team and the blue team, and they're going to, going to be baking a cake. Let's see how they use their thoughts and their other ingredients, their words, and their action to make their creation. Mm. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. blue team baking for us today you decide which team you're going to support and which cake you're going to eat also who are you going to copy well representing the red team we've got Ellie, and she's going to make us a Some lemon drizzle cake wow that sounds delicious and if you want to follow the blue team we've got Balabi. supporting the blue team Oh, I hope he's going to make an amazing cake as well. So stay tuned and enjoy this baking experience. 
She's carefully looking at the instruction and making sure she gets things right. Looks like she's thinking about what she's trying to do. Yeah, that was a nice cake baking experience, wasn't it? It was. It was nice to watch, actually. Yeah. To think about. I, I didn't quite figure out how you're going to talk to us about thinking bigger by a cake, but I can see it now. Yeah. In the sense of, you know, she had a she had a good thought. She had good thoughts about what she was going to do, and she was almost like talking to herself that, like, oh, this is going to be the best lemon drizzle cake ever. You can see she was yeah. excited. Or well, you she, could say she put her mind to it, isn't it? Yeah. She put her mind to it and didn't. Didn't, didn't sort of give up or think, you know, what's the point? This is lame, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. And you could see from the results. I'm sorry I keep looking there because I think I want one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So in whatever you do, whether it's your time with the Lord when you're praying or whether it's your work at school or whatever you are your, doing. Your friendships. Yeah. Make sure you, ha you have good thoughts. You know, think God's word about your situation, about your life, about your family, about your health. Think God's word. Think good thoughts. And, you know, you might forget to eat a lemon drizzle cake like this one. Come on. Oh. Mm. Delicious. Bigger, bolder, better. Big, stronger, and better. You can be big, stronger, and better. Release your fears. Don't be scared. God loves you. He cared for you. He made you. And that's what it means to me. Today we're talking about think big. Think bigger. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's even better. Yes. So, think bigger. What do we have here? Oh, a dictionary. I Absolutely. Like that. So, what words come to your mind when you hear the word think? Meditate. Oh, that's a good one. Um... Consider. Believe. 
Uh, imagine. I like imagine. Imagine is good. Dream. 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 Talking about dreaming. The Bible tells us a story about a young man called Joseph. Yes. Who had a dream. Actually, he had a few dreams and they were big. Very big. Let's watch the story and I believe you'll be blessed by it and we'll have a chat after. Enjoy. Hello? Where were you? You missed a really great party. Look after your brother. Where's your mom? Working? Oh. Anyway, you have a school trip next week. You can't go? Why? You can't afford it? Don't use your own money. Ask your mom. Well, my mom always says she can't afford it. So why she asks my dad? You haven't spoken to him in a while. Oh. No, you don't have a bad life. Things are just tough at the moment. But you just have to remember two things. Think big and trust God. Think big, bro. Better days are coming. We are going to tell you the story of Joseph, who had a God-given dream that one day he would be a great leader. He managed to hold on to a dream despite obstacles in his way. Hello, King's Kids. Welcome to our showcase. You know what? The bio isn't just about adults. Absolutely not. God helped adults and children just like you and me. And no, they were not perfect, but they knew they could stretch out their minds to think big. They'll be able to do the extraordinary. Believe for the impossible. Think outside the box. Dream big. Be bold. Be different. That's right. When we think big, God will fight for us and do amazing things. Come with us as we tell their stories. I lost my mum when I was just a baby. Some say I was spoiled by my dad and became a bit of a show off. This has gone down well with my brothers. They hated me because I had the dream that I was going to do great things and even the sun and the moon bowed down to me. So as far as I'm concerned, I know how to think big. God had a great plan for Joseph. But he went through some tough times first. He was sold into slavery, but he still didn't let go of his dream. When he was lied about and treated badly, he still didn't let go of his dream. He was put into prison and still he believed God had something greater for him. Today we're talking about think bigger. Yeah. Think bigger. But are we talking about having the biggest, nicest things among all our friends so we can feel better than them? No. No, that's not what we're talking about. It, it's okay to have good things. Absolutely. And big things. Yes. But what we're talking about today is about what the Word of God tells us in Isaiah 55. It says... As the heavens are above the earth, as high as they are above the earth, so are my ways above your ways mm -hmm. and my thoughts above your thoughts. Wow. So God's thoughts are big. They are big. Okay. And that's what we are talking about today. Because when he said that in long, long time ago in the Old Testament, he was talking to people who had never met Jesus. Mm. But now that Jesus has come and died for you and me, if you give your heart to the Lord, the Bible says in another part of the Bible, which is 1 Corinthians, that you have the mind of Christ. Wow. Okay. You mean I can think like Jesus? That's what I mean. Wow, that is... I mean, Jesus thought big. 
I remember he, he took a little boy's lunch and he fed thousands. He wasn't just thinking about what he was going to eat and everybody and just eating quietly and that nobody knows. No, he took what he had and he fed thousands. That was big thinking. That's big. So like we said, Jesus wasn't thinking, I'm just going to take this lunch. I'm going to multiply it and I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> that would not be very good. No, no, no. No, he thought about how he was going to feed all the families that were with him at the time. That's big thinking. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about doing big things for God. Yes. Okay. Thinking big and doing it for God. For God. Because the Bible also says, um, what's that scripture about? As someone thinks, um, as a man thinks, yes. so is he. So as you think, as I think. That's what we're going to become. That's what we're going to become. Yeah. And I want to have good thoughts. I want to think God thoughts because mm. I want to be everything God wants me to be. So I want to be thinking about his word, thinking about the plans that he has for me because he says his plans are good plans. So that's what I want to be thinking about. You know, that scripture actually says my thoughts oh. in some versions. And it also says my plan. So just imagine God says his thoughts towards you are for good, mm. not for evil. No. So when you think those thoughts for yourself, you're thinking big. Yes. So keep thinking bigger, bigger and think in line with God's word. This is the memory verse for today. Philippians chapter 4 verses 8 Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, think on these things. I was just a shepherd boy Without a shield, without a sword Fed up with the giant's voice Screaming curses to the Lord Now I walk down that hill alone With a pocket full of river stones But what the Philistine couldn't see Is what I had was more than me See on my own I'm weak But my for me oh yeah well I was serving to the king interpreting his crazy dreams I won't worship mortal man so they threw me in a lion's den vicious teeth were all I saw till something came and shut the jaws you couldn't find a scratch on me in fact that night I fell asleep when morning came it shocked them all cause my God fights for me Stumbled into the room with alabaster and my wounds. I could feel their judging eyes as I knelt before the Christ. I poured my oil upon his feet. I didn't care who saw me weep. I gave him all I had that day. And he should have sent me on my way. Instead, he lifted up my head. I have a story to tell you. Oh, I like stories. Come on, tell me. Yeah. So this story about was about a boy called Benny. Okay. All right. So Benny came from a poor family. Aww. And he had poor grades when he was in school. 
Oh dear. Yeah. Some of the children used to call him the dumb kid. Oh, that is not nice. Not nice. Okay. He also um, had a bad temper. Uh oh. I think I'll be angry if people call me a dumb kid. But yeah, that's still but not good. Still not good. No. And um, I think all these things made him feel bad about himself. He had what we call low self esteem. Oh. oh. I can imagine how you feel. Yeah. Hmm. But why am I telling this story about Ben? Yeah, it's making me feel sad. Come on, tell okay. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not where the story ended. Because Good. Benny got hold of God's word. Yay! Good. And he read the book of Proverbs and other parts of the word of God. And he started to change the way he thought about himself. Wow. That is good. So, what happened? <laughs> Very soon... Benny changed from being the dumbest kid in the class oh, wow. to being the smartest kid in the class. Wow, that is something. Absolutely. So much so that he went to uni and became a brain surgeon. That sounds... brain surgeon? I think that sounds familiar. Benny. Benny. You may know him as Ben Carson. Oh, wow. yeah. Yes. Wow, that is true. Wow, that is so real. You mean coming using having your thinking one way, meditating on God's word and other things we'll talk about during the week, and then becoming a brain surgeon. Absolutely. Wow. I want to think in line with God's word, definitely. So children, Ben Carson is an example of why you need to think bigger. bigger. Yeah. It's gonna be 
I hope you've had fun with us today. Remember to think bigger. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Did you record? Did you record to start with? Do you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm to stop it. <laughs>